I was working at the British Fashion Council and I had been there for eight years and I saw lots of trends um, that were developing over those years and I saw a gap in the market between luxury fine jewellery and contemporary fine jewellery and I wanted to bridge that gap and so I decided to develop a fine jewellery range of my own. I love wearing diamonds so for me I didn't want to just wear like a solitaire around my neck. I wanted to wear something that was a little bit more understated, a little bit more cool, and something that was really personal to me. And the idea really was born out of like taking specially cut baguette diamonds and making shapes out of them. And the first piece that I designed was, was the boy. So the matchstick boy was born. And it took me quite a long time actually to kind of get him right and the scale and the proportions and the size. And from there, like the girl came and the heart came and everything became about this kind of sentimental jewelry that people could wear every day, but not everyone realized that they were diamonds. So that was kind of the cool, exciting part for me. Jewelry for me has always been part of my childhood. Like any child, I think growing up, we're always dipped into, well, I dipped into my mother's jewelry box, my grandma's jewelry box. So I did love jewelry. I always loved drawing in matchstick. So, you know, Lowry and my great grandfather was an amazing artist and he always sort of, you know, put these street scenes together and he'd do like ice skating rinks and and I think between those kind of playful childlike aesthetic um, moments it's sort of brought me into where I'm at today.